Hello everyone and welcome to Upside Down. Today I want to talk a little bit more about normal maps. First, uh, in order to understand uh, the word normal inside the normal map, we need to understand uh, what does it mean. So normal in uh, a geometry is a vector or a line which is perpendicular to the surface of an object. Every polygon, for example in a video game, has a normal and those surfaces uh, perform different uh, light calculations. Basically, an angle between a polygon surface normal and the direction of the light source can be used to determine how bright or how shadowed a surface should appear. Today I want to show you a few different tricks that you can do with normal maps. First thing, I want uh, to show you if you have a scene like this, you can see that it's a little bit flat, so I want to show you how you can use a normal map in order to enhance some areas, to use it as a mask for, for different things and uh, generally to a little bit add more uh, direction to your light. Here I created just a sphere and the way that we can see the normals is if we convert it to editable mesh, then we select the polygon that we want to check or we can select all the polygons and there is this little tick box which says show normals if we click it we can see these lines which are pointing out from the surfaces so this is the direction of our normals first thing I want to create is a hue and saturation I will click out and then click on it so that it affects only the normal map and on top of it I will add a channel mixer I'll do the same I'll hold alt and click okay so first thing here on the channel mixer I need to go and select to be a monochrome and now if you see that if I move the red slider it gets darker or brighter. So we can control how dark or how bright is from here. Let's go like this. And if I go back to the hue saturation, here from the hue slider, I can control the direction. Now that I tweaked the settings to something that I like, we go, hold control and click on the RGB. After that we can already hide those three layers as we are not gonna use them anymore. Go here and click create a curve. What we had was uh, already a selection from uh, the RGB channel of what uh, was the result of the normal map tweaks that we made. And now with the curve here, I can come and play a little bit. You can see how some of the edges are getting brighter or we can go to make them darker. So this way you can use the normal map channel as a smart tool to add a little bit extra details or a little bit of extra touches of light to your scenes. Thank you for watching this tutorial, subscribe and like for more. See you next time.